Hi, I'm Hannah from Hampshire. My contribution to 66 of us is a tassel tutorial. We are going to get creative while we're at home and I know that you've already been creative all the way up and down the UK. We have been making rainbow pictures and putting them in our windows and from the ages of 18 months to 88 and beyond. I know those rainbow pictures are out there from you and they're inspiring everybody as we walk past windows to go shopping for our food and to have our daily exercise. So let's build on that with some multicolored tassels in windows. We can create rainbows across our neighborhood with these yarn tassels. Let's talk about the materials to start with then. You can use any kind of yarn that you just happen to have sitting around. You can use yarn that is still in a full ball. You can use leftovers. This has actually been wound up into a ball from a previous project that I unwound. So anything is possible. This is really thin, this is really thick. So just take your pick, then we can start creating a rainbow of tassels. And the other thing to note is if you only have one colour of tassels, that's you will be the one in your road that has blue tassels. Someone else in your road will have red tassels. Someone else will have a rainbow of tassels. Someone else will have pink. So around your small area, you will have a rainbow created with lots of different colors of tassels. It doesn't have to be you that creates the whole rainbow. So I've got lots of yarn, so I'm using lots of yarn, and I'm going to just create one tassel with you now. Now to start with, we need a book or something to move the yarn around to create your tassel. It could be a reading book, like them. It could be a sketch pad like I've got here. It's hard back, that makes, it means it's really useful to use when you're making tassels. That little lip here in between the paper and the covering is a really useful tool to use when you're creating a tassel. I've got a coaster here, that's perfectly fine as well. So use what you've got, and we just need a pair of scissors, some yarn, and out of my needle case here, I'm going to find a needle with a really thick end to it. So it's nice and big and you can see the hole there right through the end. And that's one of the biggest needles I've got. If you've been crafting for a while, you may even have one of these big plastic ones sitting around with a big eye in it as well. Nice big hole there. So get what you've got and we can start making the tassel. So first things first is very simply to start winding the yarn around your book now, or your coaster, of course. So I'm gonna start here, leave a bit of an end just hanging down, and I'm just gonna start winding. Now, you want to go relatively loosely, not too tightly, and minimum number of times you wanna go around the book, whatever you're using, is probably 25 or 30. You can go up to 50 rounds if you want, if you want to make a really large tassel. Just make it easy for you. There's no real rule to it, but the more rounds you have, the thicker the tassel will be and the bigger the tassel will be. So, some of those were a bit tight, so it's gonna bounce up a bit once I've finished, but keep it as loose as possible, don't worry if it does get tight, but just make sure that it's not so tight that it's going to spring up and you'll have a much smaller tassel, smaller tassel than you hoped you had in the first place. So I'm going to take this end that's going to the ball and cut it nice and long. And that's the end we're going to use to start making the tassel top. If you see here with the tassel that I've finished, this is the look that we want to come up with at the end. A nice end to it and we have the string coming out of the top. So you can tie it to something, or indeed you can use a bit of tape and stick it to the window from this piece of yarn that's coming from the top. So there you go, that's the finished look that we're aiming for. Okay, so now that I've put this final thread on the needle, we're going to start finishing off this tassel now. First thing we do is take the needle underneath the yarn wound there. And we've got to pull the needle out from the other side. Okay. So we need to keep hold of this bit here. That's where we went underneath. And we're going to move this needle through there to catch it. And this is where we can tighten it off. We can just pull it tight. And we can already see that it's starting to tighten up at the top here. We're going to do that one more time. Through there. Pull the needle out the top and then move that needle through 
that loop there and tighten it off. One more time through the top of the loop there, get the needle out the other end and through that loop of yarn. So that's three times through there, nice and tight and secure. Okay, so right down the other end here, we're going to chop these ends. There you go, that makes it nice and easy. Because we've got this lip between the cover and the pages, the scissors go through nice and easily. If you're using a coaster, it can be a bit more tight, so you just need to take your time a little bit more and be careful as you cut those there. Now then, because I've knitted with this before, this has got a lovely curl to it, it's got a wave to it. It's like when you plait your hair and uh, you end up with a wave in your hair. So this is what happens when you knit with yarn and then you make something else with the yarn afterwards. So that's a pretty cool effect. And it just shows you, you don't have to use new yarn to make these, you can use any yarn you happen to have sitting around. So, there we go, that's your start. And what we're going to do is now create this top piece. So that yarn has to move down here. I'm going to hold all of those pieces in my left hand, hold onto it right at the top here, and then wind the yarn around here. Now this is about an inch from the top, that's about three centimeters. We're going to do exactly the same thing as we did before. So as it goes around, I'm going to move the needle underneath the loop before I tighten it off. And I'm just going to pull that. Pull that and pull that. There you go. So that's that's an inch maybe from the top. And just like we did at the top, I'm going to do that a couple of times. So wind it around the whole tassel and then the needle comes up through that loop before we miss it. And then again we pull it tight one more time. So around the top of the tassel, underneath that yarn and pull it tight. There we go. So it looks like a bit like an octopus, doesn't it? So this now is loose, but we want it coming out of the top. So this is where the needle comes in really, really handy. You have this needle point. Um, it's actually a blunt end. If you use a tapestry needle, it's got a large hole in it and it's a blunt end. So it's not going to tear the yarn um, and it's not going to hurt you either if you happen to um, put the point next to your skin. So the yarn, the needle now goes into the tassel underneath where we've just made that tight piece there and we put it up through the top where we made those original knots. So that's going to come up the top there, there we go. So that is now coming up near the top and we just gently pull that piece of yarn through. It's come all the way up through the top and that is now what we can use to hang it. So we just tidy that up there. You can just pull some of these pieces, tidy up that top piece. There we are. And what we can also do, and this might be more necessary if you haven't got wavy yarn and curly yarn like I have, but you can still see there will be pieces at the bottom here that haven't quite cut evenly, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to trim it like I'm giving the tassel a haircut and I'll just run my fingers through it. Do that one more time. Does that look even? Pretty much. And there you go. That is your tassel. And that is easy to hang up. What you can do is take a long piece of thread Maybe in a different colour. If you have a different colour, you may or you may not. What I'm going to do here is just take it one piece at a time through the different tassels. So, a nice long piece. I'll go through the top of this one first. Go through the top of this tassel first. myself a nice bit of length there. And just loop that round. There we go. And then I'll pick another tassel and I'll do the very same thing. Through the top.
there we are. So that can be hung up in the window. That's it for the tassel tutorial. So we now have garlands and individual tassels that we can put in windows to create a rainbow over our neighbourhood and across over the whole of the UK. And you can also hang these for birthday celebrations inside the house as well. So let's get creative and create lots of tassels. If you want to find out more about me, then I, you can find me on YouTube. I am Knit with Hannah there. I also am on Instagram, Pinterest and Facebook. And I do have my website as well, knitwithhannah.co.uk. You'll find lots of knitting tutorials, yarn creativity tutorials there. Please do get involved and contribute a video at 66ofus.uk. Share a skill with the community and we will all come out of this stronger. Remember there are 66 million of us and we are all a family.